Hey everyone, Tyler here at The Movie Beat. Welcome back to another video review. In this one, I'm going to be looking at the 2006 Korean romance, melodrama, thriller movie, My Scary Girl. Uh, written and directed by Son Jae Gun, uh, someone who really impressed me with his movie Villain and Widow. I thought it was real fresh and original, made me want to check out some of his earlier films. Uh, when I came across My Scary Girl, it, was, it looked like one that I did not want to pass up. Uh, it has some really fun looking posters, one of them designed after Sympathy for Lady Vengeance, and another one after A Bittersweet Life. So it looked like it, it was a movie that wanted to have some fun. And with its combination of genres, uh, romance and thriller and melodrama, you had to check it out. So track down this uh, two-disc special edition DVD. Package is really cool, um, really fitting of the film. So we'll take a look at that a little bit later. Um, the film stars Che Kang-hee and Park Young-woo. Let's get into it. It's about a man named Daewoo who's in his mid-30s, a university professor of English literature. Always felt that he was going to be one of those guys that was going to be single forever. He holds a real disdain for relationships, uh, couples, especially the happy ones. Until a lower back injury one day inspires a change of heart. Imagining how nice it would be to be alongside a woman, giving him a little back rub, helping him mend, maybe putting away some of the fears of being lonely or old and alone decides he wants to try this whole relationship thing and with some encouragement from his best friend decides to ask out a woman named Mina played by Che Kang Hee who's freshly moved into his building. Mina appears to be an art student who's planning to study abroad. Um, she's planning to live with one of her friends. With Daewoo never having been on a date before, never having a girlfriend, this part of the movie is hilarious as he's trying to figure out how to act around her, um, what to do at movies, how to try to be funny. Um, it's awesome this part of the movie i love that part of the relationship so the movie's building up and we find out that mina is not who he thinks she might be um, i don't want to give anything away but she has got a past that should send most people running so this movie took home a few awards for writing and directing and i think it was very earned um, it's unusual in a lot of ways it's not every day that you see in movies uh, especially romantic ones, the female lead playing the part of a sociopath. You've got these seemingly normal women involved in hiding bodies, digging graves, uh, committing murder, and it's all done in this real playful way that it's entertaining. It does push the boundaries of believability, but just seeing these characters do these things you just can't believe what you're watching at times. So it, it was pretty awesome in those regards. Che Kang Hee, I think, is perfectly cast in this role. I uh, haven't seen her in a lot of movies, but she's got something in her eye that's just hints at a little craziness. And when you kind of expect that that crazy layer to break out, because the you know she's a sociopath in this movie, she brings it back to completely normal innocent cute and so t to hide or mask that that craziness underneath she, she's got something in her eye that is real perfect for this role park young woo also is just hilarious in this movie i loved his pursuit of mina i loved how how naive he was i loved some of the mistakes he made and he jo he just falls head over heels in love and i wish in this movie that they pushed his realization of who she really was and what kind of the what sort of things she was capable of uh, a little sooner so there is a big middle portion of this film that involves some of mina's uh, co-conspirators or other nasty type figures um, that get involved and do add some comic and fun parts of the movie but i wish as far as the relationship was concerned especially because the ending of this movie was so strong that the midsection just had a little bit more punch because once he does realize who she is the movie is just gold again and i loved his his wrestling in his mind you know he loves her and you know at one point he's he says, well, you know, he's almost crying to himself. If if she would have just killed one person, maybe he could get get away with that or he could let that go. But, you know, he can't it's, you know, he can't deal with how many people she's killed. Those realization moments were just hilarious. And I 
wanted that to come quicker and I kind of wanted it to stay there a little bit longer. This movie also has some great music. A lot of earlier Korean movies had um, maybe lower budgets so they couldn't you know afford these grand scores some of them have awesome scores by the way but uh, very simply composed guitar riffs piano riffs uh, they work so well and this movie has really uh, good songs in it I just wish it used more of it because when it does come in I'm like this is an amazing soundtrack I want to buy it right now I did like how this film keeps a pretty small cast it's limited to the two leads and their friends as well as a couple periphery characters but I think it worked a lot better with the character Daewoo's friends uh, the one who also encouraged him to ask Mina out uh, they have a double date at, t at one point that's really funny and I, I liked that side of the movie more than Mina's character's side of the movie when he meets her friends it's more with the dark darker humor, the violence mixed with the comedy, it doesn't, it doesn't work completely all the time. So, uh, you know, some of that stuff I wish they kind of just cut out or got rid of. So there's just a few pacing issues that I think keep My Scary Girl just short of being classic status. Uh, it's got a great first and final act and a pretty good middle section but it does get a little carried away and it does have some, uh, you know, some of the darker humor. It just doesn't come across as well as I think they hoped it would. It also took Daewoo just a little bit too long to fully realize and comprehend the terrifying truths about Mina. I, I just loved watching him try to mentally cope with all that, so I wish the film spent more time with that part of the relationship. So if you guys like dark, twisted humor and romantic comedies, this is your film. Don't miss it, My Scary Girl. I'm gonna rate it a seven out of 10. Just does a couple things shy of being one of the all-time greats. Um, this, I'm just gonna show you the uh, special edition here. Um, it's cool, I've never really had one that has a Velcro cover like that. So that opens up and you can't really see it very well, but that right there, if you guys have seen the film, that's a finger, perfectly fits this movie and how it's hidden right there. Uh, this, I didn't know what that was until I watched it. That's a kimchi refrigerator uh, with a man inside of it. Obviously, you'll realize why when you watch this movie. Um, this is really tight in here, but this pulls out. It's cool. It's kind of got the Sympathy for Lady Vengeance vibe there. With uh, It's got, uh, this is kind of the scary Mina. And back there, he's just the, the lover boy, Daewoo. He's so sweet inside it's a two disker it's got a lot of special features on it unfortunately of course not a lot of uh, English subtitles on those special features but there is English subs on the main features so uh, probably would not be very expensive to track down the DVD edition uh, these days so I would definitely recommend it because there's no blu-ray as far as i know so that's going to be it for this one let me know what you guys thought of my scary girl and if you've seen the director writer's most recent film secret zoo i'm very curious uh to check it out i'm sure it's going to be you know a little bit crazy a little bit out there uh based on his other previous films so let me know i'm tyler at the movie beat thanks for watching again keep watching movies